Community Memorial Hospital and Cooper Power Tools are committed to education in the Hicksville area and are proud to support Hicksville Elementary in today's new six. Local support has also been provided by the Northwest Ohio Educational Technology Foundation, Bowling Green State University, and the members of WBGU-TV. Hi, we're the sixth grade class of Hicksville Elementary School in Hicksville. Welcome to New Six. Hello, I'm Matt Pokraski from Hicksville Elementary. Welcome to News 6. Our program this week is a collection of collections. Here's Chris McDonald to tell you more. Our first segment involves a special person who works at Hicksville Elementary. Over 19 years ago, she decided to collect the very things she rides in every day. News 6 reporter Jacob Phillips is on the story and has a collection of facts to share with us today. Not everybody can bring their work home, especially someone who drives something as big as a bus. I'm Jacob Phillips, and I'm talking to Mrs. Klein about her bus collection. Mrs. Klein, how did you get started collecting buses? Well, about 19 years ago, I went to a bus driver's meeting in Defiance, and they had centerpieces on the table, so this is one of my first buses. I wrote to the superintendent and found out where they got this and went and got me one. What kind of items do you have in your collection? Well, I have hair barrettes, I've got frame, picture frames, key chains, key rings, necklaces, earrings, buses, books about buses, and I guess that's about all. So all I got baby clothes, sweatshirts, t-shirts, anything that has a bus on it, I think I've got. Would you tell us about a few of your favorites? Well, I've got one favorite that over here that I've got at Camden, Michigan. There's a man I has a shop up there and I went up there and he had a real old car I sawed out of his into a picture and I said, Oh, would you make me a school bus like that? He said, Yes, if you bring me a picture then I'll make you the bus. So that's what I did. Then I have one that uh, my niece up in Chicago gave me last year for Christmas. It's a brick. It's just a corner of a brick and on one side you can see the side of the bus on the back side you can see the back of the bus and then I've got some remote controlled ones and some that talk. Today's News 6 is produced by Hicksville Elementary. Hicksville is a small town located in Defiance County, approximately 20 miles west of Defiance. Our town was founded in 1836 and has a population of 3,664. At Hicksville Elementary, we're fortunate to have a program that enables the school to raise money for science programs. News 6 reporter Kate Thiel talked with third grade teacher Mrs. Minda Jones to find out how the program works. Our school wants to help save the plant, so we started a recycling program. I am here talking with Mrs. Jones about it. Mrs. Jones, how did the recycling program start? Mrs. Barbara Thompson wrote a program for students called the Paper Chase. Since then, she has retired, but she's still involved, helping today even with the recycling carnival, where we're trying to help kids and families get into the habit of recycling. What kinds of products do you recycle? We save newspapers. We encourage them to put them in paper bags. We save office paper. And we also save magazines that have been glue bound together. What is the money used for? We use the money in two basic areas, for our science resource room and for the outdoor science lab. Within the science resource room, we need the money to feed, buy food for the animals and supplies for them. We also use it for promoting and encouraging the science fair each year. We use it for purchasing the supplies that are needed for teachers and classrooms to use their science experiments. 
And the last paper drive that we had, we used the majority of the money to purchase a television and a cart for the new video disc player that's in the science resource room. In the outdoor lab, we used the money for bird seed, for seeds, plants, topsoil, things that we need for the garden spots. And we're, our next big project is saving money toward purchasing a greenhouse for outside in the outdoor lab. Thank you, Ms. Jones. And for more information on recycling, you can call the Hicksville Elementary Office. This is Katie Theo reporting for News 6. Thank you, Mrs. Jones, for explaining Hicksville's recycling program. This week in Kids View, the sixth graders of Hicksville Elementary talked about the upcoming summer vacation. Hi, my name's Sean Cleland. This week's Kids View question is, what are your plans for summer vacation? My plans for summer vacation is to win a championship for the baseball team VFW. My plans for summer vacation are to hang out with my friends and go on a trip with my family to Canada. My plans for summer vacation are to play soccer, go swimming, and go to volleyball camp. Our last story is about a woman who makes and collects antique dolls of all kinds. News 6 reporter Laura Pelton took the 6th grade class to meet Teresa Minig and look at her unique collection of over 200 dolls. 50 years from now, your Barbie will be an antique. The dolls from 50 years ago are antiques now. This is Laura Pelton and I'm talking with Mrs. Minnick about her dolls. How did you get started in making dolls? Well, I had to find a way to finance buying antique dolls and I discovered that making dolls and selling them was a good way to pay for my hobby. What advice would you give someone who wanted to buy an antique doll? Well, I would tell them to, first of all, buy a doll that they like. Don't worry about so much, am I going to make money on this doll when I decide to sell it? Because it's more important that they like the doll. I'd also tell them to look the doll over very carefully to see if there's any cracks or missing arms or legs, if the body's broken, if it's got its original eyes, its original wig. I'd also tell them to try to look for dolls that had either clothes that are original to the doll or original to the time period of the doll. Would you show us a couple of the unique dolls in your collection? All right, the first doll is the Chinese doll. He uh, was made before 1840 and he's made by uh, layers of uh, paper that's lacquered together. He was given to a bridegroom on his wedding night by his family. And he even has a mama voice inside him, and he's jointed at the elbows, the wrists, the feet, the knees, and the hips. Thank you, Mrs. Minnick. Now back to the studio. The book that was chosen by Hicksville Elementary to be showcased in Critics Corner this week is called Incident at Hawks Hill, written by Alan Eckert. It's a story about a small, quiet child in the town he lived in. The book is based on a true story about six year old, Be old Benjamin McDonald's sudden disappearance and the events that took place during that time. As you read this classic set in Winnipeg, Canada during the 1850s, you'll discover how a father's gruff indifference turn in turns into a driving force to find his little son and how a boy's way with animals helps him to survive in the prairie for six weeks. That's all for this week's show. Be sure to tune in next time for another look at special people and places around Northwest Ohio. Community Memorial Hospital and Cooper Power Tools are committed to education in the Hicksville area and are proud to support Hicksville Elementary in today's new six. Local support has also been provided by the Northwest Ohio Educational Technology Foundation, Bowling Green State University, and the members of WBGU-TV.